Patterson's brother teacher. I'm certain that many or most of you have heard some very alarming, startling news here within the past hour. And uh, as difficult as it is to accept, it seems that we have lost another great human being. Uh, because of the the magnitude of news that I've seen on this within the past just 20 minutes, it seems as though it's been confirmed that the uh, legendary Lakers uh, basketball player, NBA player, Kobe Bryant has died. Uh, I had a couple friends ask me about half an hour ago, was it true? And I had not even heard about it. So upon a little investigation and research and looking it up, TMZ, uh, which is a news platform to the stars, very rarely have they ever been incorrect in their information gathering. And it seems obvious now, it seems conclusive that Kobe Bryant, retired NBA player of the Lakers, passed away as a result of a helicopter crash along with approximately four others. From what I could ascertain uh, in the little information that I did gather, there was a fire on board the helicopter and it went down and there were no survivors. And this helicopter was his private helicopter in California. So ladies and gentlemen, um, I implore you to pray for his wife, Vanessa, his four children, and his family in general. Uh, it is never a good thing to hear about uh, someone losing their life. But when it's someone that so many hundreds of thousands and even millions of people loved, it is even more difficult sad circumstance, unfortunate incident, but it is life and we all are leaving here. So my condolences, my sincere prayers are being extended to the Bryant family, all of his relatives to include his wife and surviving children and I ask you to do the same to pray for his family and um, let's never forget how precious life really and truly is not one of us that's sitting here even watching me right now know when our last day on this earth is going to be. That is why it behooves each and every one of us to make sure that we walk circumspectly as if today was our last day. Ladies and gentlemen, love one another. Hold on to your children, and your wives, your companions closer and tighter than you ever have before. This is not the first time I've said this. I'm going to continue to say this. Let's not allow a tragedy to bring us close together or closer. Let's just be close as we should be close. Whatever our issues that we might have with one another Let's get rid of it and let's count up the cost because none of us know what tomorrow is going to bring. Yahweh loves you and I love you. You have a blessed and wonderful day and or evening depending on where you are. And hold on to someone that you 
hold dear to your heart today, family or friend, and tell them that you love them. This is Brother Teacher.